What's up everybody welcome to CR NT designers this is Chetan and in this blender tutorial we are going to create another hard surface model so without further ado let's get started to make this model we are going to use the cylinder so shift a add a cylinder and we will go with the six words then you need to scale the cylinder along the z axis so press s and then z and then scale it along the z axis after that you need to add one more cylinder and this time we will go with the 12 words then scale it down the cylinder and then move the cylinder along the y axis and then adjust the scale you need to move it to this corner point so just give the right position and then give the right scale as like this after that just select that cylinder and change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and then you need to rotate it into the 60 degree then one more time shift d to duplicate it and then rotate it into the 120 degree and then one more time shift d to duplicate it and rotate it into the 120 degree as like this so we got this six cylinder at there so just select all the cylinder and then join them together then select that middle cylinder and then use the boolean operation which is union and then apply that modifier then you can delete that cutter object so you will get this base mesh at here now you can select the words and then s z and give the value 0 make sure your transform point point to the individual origin and then you can scale it along the z axis and you can make them flat as like this Now you need to select everything and press M and merge by distance. You can see there double words will get merged. Twenty-four words have merged now. Then you can select the words, right-click, connect vertex path. You want to find out the center point of this cylinder, so that's why you need to do this. Then you can add the loop cut like this, means that words, and then select the words, right-click, connect vertex path. Then you can do the same step to the another side also, and. Then you need to select everything and then take the symmetry along the z axis. Then you can select the words right click connect vertex path. Okay, so now we need to do the another step. Now you need to select these faces and then press P for the selection and you can delete that remaining part. So we will get this part here and we need to work on this. So I can select the words right click connect vertex path but you can see there are double words. So that's why we are facing little bit difficulty. So that's why you need to merge the words. So here you can see there are double words. So just select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and then you can select everything and then press M and merge by distance then you can add another loop cut at there. Now just you need to create the path in between the words so that's why you can select the words right click connect vertex path and here you can add one word and you can give the right position to these words. and just we want to create that circular shape at there so that's why try to create that right circular shape at there then you can give the right position to this word so you can use the e slide or you can use the move tool and just try to give the right position to it and then you can select everything and then take the symmetry along the x axis as like this and you can refine this shape as much as you can Then you can select these faces and then press I for the insert operation and then use the loop tool circle. Then you can dissolve this edge and then add a loop cut at here means that word and then select the words right click connect vertex path. And then you can add the loop cut like this so that's why you need to take the symmetry and then take the symmetry along the x and y axis and you can add the loop cut like this. So we will do that later on that adding the loop cuts. and now just we need to create the right loop structure at here on the model so that's why you can use the knife tool at here so select the knife tool and then create a cut like this to create that loop structure and then add one loop cut at here and then select these words and then merge them at the center as like this and then select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x axis then you can dissolve that edge loop at there so just give the right position to these edges and then take the symmetry along the z axis also then select these spaces use the loop tool and now just you need to change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor select everything shift d to duplicate it and rotate it into the 60 degree angle and you need to complete that circular cylindrical shape at there so just shift d to duplicate it and then rotate it into the 60 degree angle and then you can select everything and then press m and merge by distance you can see the 52 words have merged now then you can add the loop cut like this 
and then you can select this face loop and then use the extrude along the normal at here and you can extrude it along its normal as like this so just give the proper offset amount for the extrusion and then you can select the stop faces at here and you can use the insert operation at there and then you can press the ctrl x to dissolve the inner edges of that circular shape and then use the insert operation one more time and then extrude it along the z-axis one more time and just try to create a decent looking boolean details at there and then press i for the insert operation and then select this face and then press m and merge at the center and then you can select this face loops and then you can press i for the insert operation just to add your loop at there and so you can create the harder edge at there then you can add the sub d modifier and now you can see it looks pretty well just we need to add these supportive loop cuts add this kind of supportive loop cuts and then you can merge these words as like this so just add the loop cuts like this and to maintain that circular form we need to merge the words like this so it is like a welding those words and then you can dissolve the edges which are destroying that circular form so you can see we are facing a little bit of pinching of those words so that's why we need to merge them in a right way we need to create the right topological structure at there so that's very important so now you can see i can keep the triangle at there and i can keep that loops also at there which will help me to avoid the overlapping of words and then you can take the symmetry along the x axis then just add a loop cuts like this these are the support loop cuts to maintain the form so i need to repeat the same steps for the remaining cylindrical form those cylindrical booleans so easily i can do that i can do this manually for all or i can just select this the proper part and then i can duplicate it and then rotate it into the 60 degree so just select these faces and then press p for the selection and then delete the remaining part you will get this part here so shift d to duplicate it and then change the transform pivot point to the 3d cursor and then rotate it into the 60 degree angle and then just complete this circular form at there and then select everything and then press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged and then you can turn on your sub d modify and you can see that looks pretty well easily we have created this it is not a difficult thing you can easily do that then you can select these faces and you can use the loop tool add there just change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and you can adjust the scale of the circle and use the insert operation add there and just try to create a little bit of details add there i just want to create a decent looking design add there now the video is a little bit fast you can watch whole process to get more details on the model and easily you can create those kind of details so that's not difficult so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye in the next video take care